Before I was on the streets, I, I was back and forth between my dad and my mom. And my mom was with my stepdad. And we didn't get along too well. But since my dad was always in and out of jail, I was only able to stay with him a little bit. Then when he went back to jail for a while, it's when I had to stay with my mom and my stepdad. It was hard getting along with my stepdad since me and my brother both weren't his kids. He didn't treat us like we were his kids and it just was a bad environment. When I was 11, that's when I started hitting the streets. And my brother took care of me, even though we were both on the streets. It wasn't safe. Well, I remember meeting Joe. The first time I actually remember meeting him was at Tarantulas when we used to play pool. And I was young 20s or mid 20s, and he was 12. And I kind of thought, what is he doing out here, you know, on the streets? And it was starting to get cold. And I just remember really worrying about him. And I also remember Joe. Um, not wanting to talk to me, um, not wanting to talk to anybody. He was very shy and um, really hung close to his brother. Um, and slowly, you know, over the weeks, he started becoming more comfortable with me and more comfortable with my husband, Matt, and um, just started talking to us more. Growing up like that, it makes you kind of reluctant to meet new people because you figure that that would be the same as the rest of the people in your life. And it makes you more closed out. After I got to know them a little bit, I realized that not everybody's like my family and stuff. I'm glad I met Nikki because she's been like a mom to me. My mom, she's an alcoholic and she wasn't about her kids. She's always been about her relationship with whoever she's with. And it kind of sucked. Well, I'm just glad Nikki came into my life because she's like my mom. I go to her when I need to talk, when I feel sad, when I'm angry, when I'm happy. She just, no matter what, is there for me and loves me. Joe has always, he's just always kept going, even in the saddest times when he thought that life um, wasn't worth living. He is he has found something to make him want to live it and want to live it better. And um, that inspires me to do the same on days that um, are hard. When Matt and I lost our first baby, Joe cried. And um, he wanted to be there for us in a way that other people weren't there for us. And I really appreciated that about him. Don't cry. So, and he helped me realize that I can make it through and things will get better. Out of everything that they've given me, food, clothes, job, support, everything, the most important thing to me was that they loved me. It's hard to find somebody that just loves you unconditionally. I know parents are supposed to do it, but my parents weren't that way. So I'm glad I, I found someone that just loves me and accepts me for me. My life wouldn't be the same without Joe and I hope he would say the same. Now I'm an, a mother of three and he laughs at me about that and he has come out of his a lot of his addictions that were holding him back and um, has got a job now and so I encourage him in that. Um, he's moved from being my 12 year old kind of son to being you know my 20 year old son that is able to make some really good decisions for himself and I'm just real proud of um, the man he has become. Are you gonna cry? Yeah. <laughs>